Hello, in this video we're going to uh, learn how to uh, link uh, some data from Excel into a Word document. By link linking them, we're going to make sure that the when the source data is changed, then it is also changed in the Word document uh, that we have linked it to. So we're going to start with our CR inventory uh, Excel spreadsheet that we were working on earlier um, and we're going to copy the same data that we did earlier so we're going to copy A4 all the way across to F9 so I select it and then I click on copy you'll see that the marquee is scrolling around the selection so you know that it's been copied it's now being held in the um, uh, in the random access memory, if you will, um, or the clipboard until we uh, deal with that uh, data that we just copied. Um, so now we're going to open the Word document. I've already opened it and it's down here on my taskbar. So if I click on the Word uh, icon there, the document that I opened, the uh, car report dot docx that tells you it's a word document um, is open I'm going to click um, and place my uh, cursor at the end of the document because that's where I want to paste uh, the uh, data that I just copied from Excel so we're going to um, use the paste special button again like we did before um, so we're going to go to paste special and we've done this before. We're going to choose Microsoft Excel uh, worksheet object as the um, the uh, format in which we want to paste it. But instead of just clicking OK at this time, we're going to choose Paste Link at this time. That tells Excel that we want to paste it in and we want to link it to the source data that's found in Excel. And so then we can click OK the data is there um, and it's linked to Excel and I've got both the documents open now so I'll just show you what happens earlier when we just pasted it in without linking it when we double clicked on it um, then uh, Microsoft opened a temporary ribbon if you'll recall um, that gave us the Excel um, features um, when we were working in the table now if I double click it takes us directly to the Excel spreadsheet um, because it's a linked document now. So I'm not going to I'm not going to make any updates in the Word document. Any updates that happen have to happen at the source document. So I just wanted to point that out. So what I'm going to do with the Word is I'm document is I'm going to save it, save as. I'm going to put it over on my desktop. Um, for now, I'm just going to call it a test link linked file. I'm just going to land it on my desktop there. So there's my Word document. I'm going to exit. Okay. So I'm going to exit from Word. The Excel document is still open where the source data came from. I'm going to press my escape key so I can take that um, scrolling marquee off um, of the um, copy uh, uh, from the copy process. Now I'm going to click over an F5. Um, there's nothing in there currently. I'm going to put 85,000 in there and press enter. You'll see that my totals have updated to accommodate that $85,000. Um, and so um, even better than that, um, when I open that Word document, which I will go find the test linked file, now when I open it, you're going to get a um, message that tells you that the document contains links that may refer to other files. And then you're going to be given the option to update the file. So if you look at it, that's the original one that we copied. We don't see the $85,000 in the Honda, so it's not an automatic update. We have to tell it that, yes, we want to update it from the linked file. We click on Yes, and then you'll notice that that 85000 drops in, and the data that we have copied over and linked is updated. 
Um, so it's as simple as that. It's the same process as uh, copying and pasting, only to create the link, we just simply um, click on the uh, Paste Special button, um, and we choose the Paste Link button over on the right-hand side.